I feel like this is a long overdue conversation that I think we need to have, especially when you think about the equipment you have and then you think it's not good enough. I know you see me with all these lenses, cameras, lights, and more, and you might say, who is this guy to tell me equipment doesn't matter? I've been in the same situation as well. I'm the same guy who has come from a Canon 60D. In fact, at the point I had two 60Ds, went on to get a 70D, then a Panasonic GH5. At the very point it was released, then after a few years, bought a Blackmagic 4K, and saved some money, and got a Blackmagic 6K Pro. All these cameras and all the other cameras I've tested are pretty much all the same stuff. But the main purpose of a camera is to film the story, to film the narrative, to film the content, and that is going to be the main focus. The camera is always just going to be at the bottom of what is most important, which is telling the story. In terms of telling a great story, one has to put lighting into consideration before thinking about what kind of camera you would want to be shooting on. You should also put the lenses above the camera. You're always gonna put the story above the camera. So whether you're a videographer or a photographer, who wants a better camera to create better stuff? Or a graphic designer who wants a better computer to create better stuff? Or a keyboardist who wants a better keyboard? It doesn't matter. It's all about the growth. You're going to start at the bottom to get to the top. You should never be ashamed of what you are producing right now because as you improve your knowledge and become a better content creator or whatever you are doing, you're always just gonna look back and see how far you've gone. Like I said, I did start with the Canon 60D and I learned a lot from shooting with that camera. Although I later sold it, I still have memories of the productions I got to do with that camera. Uh, this is uh, my house with this, so yeah, it will be passed by this. And the house with this, the uh, straight for No mind, no mind how the area I view now. I manage with the manager. And they used to do the, the tenants the, like this one and they back. And the area of this, and so the area they don't fit. See the, the mud block, who oh, they use. They just patch and patch and patch and pass the. Right. Like this one, I'm with the vacancy now. The first uh, person going to enter, if you don't get 50,000, nothing for you, you're not going to enter here. Forget at this place, Bill, and so we live there with the rugged land. Here in a GRA, ask me the meaning of GRA, government rejected area. Let me this. So the manager has said, as we take I shot documentaries, weddings, interviews, short films. I learned some of the most fundamental information and tricks when using the Canon 60D, especially when it came to low budget cameras. I learned all about frame rates. I learned about how to expose an image. I learned aperture. These are the very important things, framing and all that, how to light, stuff like that. You need to sit down, practice, and become a master. A person who has a RED or an Alexa camera and has little or no experience even in lighting or how to properly expose an image is going to get bit by a person that knows his onions. That is the fundamental aspects of filmmaking. All the blockbusters features and Netflix films you've all gone to see at the cinemas or at home are not good because of the huge stabilizer or camera they use. It's all about the story. 99% of the time after watching that dope movie, you're not going to be going on about how sharp the person's eye was or how stabilized the footage was, but rather you'll be talking about how great the storyline was. All I'm trying to say is don't get caught up on what gear to use. Think about how to improve your lighting skills. Think about diffusers, light modifiers, better sound, and maybe even your editing and post-production skills. It's all about the creation. It's all about the story. It's all about the narrative. It's all about the lens choices. If you constantly keep investing in new cameras, you're going to be shooting the exact same thing over and over again. But maybe a little bit sharper at the end of the day. So to answer anyone who has asked me, is this camera good enough? Yes, whatever camera you have access to is good enough to create whatever you want to create. There are a ton of great films shot on iPhones, not even the latest iPhones, or on Samsungs, even music videos and more. So learn the fundamentals of filmmaking, exposing an image, 
creating a good story and so on. And you'll be fine. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to drop me a like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Peace out, guys, and happy shooting.